I thought that by now people might have become tired of the AI assistants because we have been watching the creation of and launching of AI assistants every day for the last various months. But here we are. We have another AI assistant which is called as Monica. And the reason why I have decided to review it because Monica is slightly different uh, in two ways. First, it is a bit easier to install. Secondly, and more importantly, it deals with a lot of things in one place. So let me give you an overview. First, Monica claims to be an all-in-one assistant equipped with GPT-4, Claude and Google's Bard and few other large language models. So with one single AI assistant, you can chat, search, write and translate and do a lot of other things in one place, which is good. And I think that is where Monica's strength lies. Another cool feature about Monica is that you can have not only installed it as browser extension, all you need to do is to just click here, add to edge. I'm sure there will be uh, something for Chrome too and other browsers too. Or you can get it installed on your desktop application. I believe there is also a mobile app application too for Monica. When it comes to pricing, it is also um, quite nice, I would say, just for $8 per month or $99 per year, you can have a lot of features such as 5000 queries, but just 100 GPT-4 queries. But if you run out of GPT-4, you can revert to Claude and then you can have 200 images, which is quite generous, I would say, for just $8 per month. Even the um, Pro Plus package is not that bad. Just for $16, you can do 200 GPT-4 queries and 400 images. And for the unlimited one, this is again very nice. I mean, unlimited GPT-4 queries, you can go crazy with it. I'm sure that there will be some sort of selling there because if you see this static, the fine print, it says ensure at least 600 GPT-4, 600 Claude and 1000 Claude 100K high speed queries per month. After reaching the limit, the response speed and quality of the model may be reduced. So maybe instead of GPT-4, they might go to another model. Who knows? But still, I think 600 GPT-4 queries are fine enough. I think for me, um, the Monica Pro Plus, the middle one, this has a good balance of price and performance plus the features anyway. So having said that, let me show you what exactly you can do with it. So if you go to their website, there are a lot of things there. For example, if you go to help center, it is quite easy. In order to launch it, you just press control plus M on any website or on the Mac, you just press this plus M and it should open your chat assistant. You can chat with it like on this screen. You can read PDF article images. You can summarize them. You can search through them. You can, uh, as I said, you, this is for the searching. And then you can even compose the new text out of it. You can see that you're just generating. For example, you just given an idea, ask it to write a blog for a travel and adventure and it will write the blog for you. Similarly, you can translate it from one language to another, which is amazing. And then you can also create some sort of art. Simply, you know, I think this is some sort of text to image generation feature where you will just simply give the text to it and your large language model should create a corresponding digital image. So which is, of course, uh, the beauty of ChatGPT4 and even other models too. And then this is uh, also, for example, something good I uh, found out with about Monica that if you're browsing any web page, you just uh, highlight a text and then a quick action toolbar will pop up, which will offer you whether you want to translate it, summarize, grammar, explain and all that stuff. This is good. This could become a bit annoying if you just want to highlight it for copy paste. But still, I think, um, for example, just imagine this is a piece of code. You just highlight it and then ask it to explain and that will explain it with the help of the model. Amazing stuff. And then we already seen the compose thing that how can we compose stuff and then it is searching quite efficiently. 
and then for the video ones you can just go to any youtube video and get get the summary of that youtube video okay that is amazing so you can see that in only um, one assistant one tool we have lot of stuff which we can use with monica so give it a try i'll drop the link to their website in beauty description and see how it goes one thing i believe is that in the coming year this thing will be part of every browser experience in my humble opinion whether you are using google chrome um you are using edge or microsoft bing or whatever this thing will be uh, i guess same experience from every provider because there is no denying it there is no running from it so let's see uh, what monica does to maintain their edge anyway um if i were you if i wanted to get this subscription i'll go with monthly one not the yearly one anyway that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it um if you have any questions or thought or if you know of any other all in one assistant let me know and i'll be happy to review it thanks for watching and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you